Hey everybody, Ogre Battle 64, a person of lordly caliber, uh, sisterhood of the traveling pants, how I learned how to love the bomb and stop worrying, who went up a fucking mountain and came down a hill, fucking electric boogaloo. This fucking game has a long title, but it is a motherfucking good game. This is perhaps my favorite N64 game. I had a real fucking hard time picking an N64 game to play on here, because... You know, this pisses me off about Nintendo. Nintendo's like, oh, it's too hard to fucking emulate an N64 game. Bull fucking shit! You fucking made that console. You can fucking make an emulator that fucking runs the fucking games on that fucking console. Fuck you, Nintendo. I want motherfucking Harvest Moon 64. I want it. Sorry, everybody, for that outburst. I'm just mad. Seriously. Nintendo made the fucking console that they can't make a fucking emulator that runs the fucking stupid games. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways. <coughs> <coughs> Woo, that's some, that's some good shit. Person of lordly caliber. I fucking love this game. I actually stole this game from, from the movie rental. That's how fucking good it was. I could never find it in stores, so one day I rented it and I replaced it with Tetrisphere. That's another fucking game that should be on the fucking virtual console, but it's not. I love these little guys. I love this part. Love that sound effect. Oh, this is bringing back my fucking childhood. But, you know, like every fucking game I play, I'm gonna bitch about it. Atlas. Love fucking Atlas. I'm really fucking glad now. Atlas is fucking getting the fucking kudos they deserve. Instead of fucking that fucking hack Squaresoft. God, I fucking hate him. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting fucking mad. Shit. I'm playing a fucking great underrated game. Long ago, and that there was a time when strength ruled and evil held the world in its vile clutches. The age of Zintagina. Scintigina? Scintigina? Eh. Is there anything else you want to add to that? No? Alright. Love the fucking music. Fucking great music. Let's go to new game. It's backstory time. Um, don't have to really worry about this fucking claptrap. So anyways, like, as you'll notice, this is one of the rare few 2D N64 games. And I wish more fucking companies who made games on the N64 would do this shit. Because if you look at fucking games from that generation, they're all fucking ugly. Except for games like Ogre Battle, for games like Sympathy of... Uh, Sympathy. Sympathy... S the fucking Castlevania on the fucking PlayStation. Like, those games are still fucking beautiful. Those games graphically hold up very fucking well today. The fucking polygon bullshit like Super Mario World 64 and fucking... What's some shitty fucking PlayStation 1 game? Um... Spyro. Those look like fucking asshole. It's like, yeah, let's... Fuck... Fuck making gorgeous, beautiful 2D graphics. Let's make ugly... Garish fucking polygons with garish fucking textures that, you know, are gonna be fucking laughable in five fucking years. Yep. Really glad fucking most developers fucking went that way. Mm-hmm. So fucking glad. This, uh, this has just been me bitching about why I'm, what I fucking hate about modern gaming. It's just like fucking... And like the N64, again, it's like fucking... That's a stinging reminder. Because that was Nintendo's fucking, um... Bull fucking headedness that fucked him over. It's the same fucking bull headedness that fucked him over with the 3DS, and it's gonna fuck him over with the Wii U. That stupid fucking piece. Uh, just fucking focus on the game, Napalm. Just focus on the fucking game. You love this game. And there we go. Ah, next graduate! Oh, 
want to do voices too. There's a lot of fucking text in this game. I'm going to have to make it fucking entertaining to me somehow. He was long the way of the sword in God's teachings. In accordance with the way the traditions kept since the days of the propaganda. It's like, it's, this guy's kind of Irish. I shall now complete thine training with an oath from our mother, Brethril. 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 Who the fuck cares? Some made up fucking bullshit god. What is thy name? That's something that's always bothered me about RPGs. Whenever you're in a setting like this, like a graduation for a perfect fucking example, because this is a graduation. Why the fuck doesn't he know my fucking name? He called the fucking next graduate. I could be a fucking assassin. I could be like, hey, old guy, fucking stab in the chest. I'm a fucking assassin, not a fucking student. Maybe you should learn your fucking students' names. Magnus, fuck that shit. Uh, pfft, when, um... No. Why can't I use a fucking la a button to fucking delete it? I have to go all the way- That's fucking- That's sloppy. That's stupid. Why aren't you letting me delete? I thought- I thought- <laughs> Silly fucking me! I thought the fucking delete button would fucking delete shit! Shit grills with a Z because he's motherfucking hard. He lived on the fucking streets, motherfuckers! Yes, it, it, name shit grills is in entirely fucking acceptable. What is the date of thy birth? Seriously, if you, if you don't know what I'm fucking playing, like, just, just stop fucking watching this right fucking now. 420, motherfucker! Shit, girls, gallant! I ask thee, what dost thou hold within thine sword? So, okay, this is like, let me take a hit. This is like, um, a standard trope of the Ogre Battle series. Um, all started back in the, um, the first one on Super Nintendo, Ogre Battle March of Black Queen. Where Warren would ask you, Warren who's like a wizard or fucking some shit, I can't fucking remember. He asked you questions and you, in that game you had tarot cards, which kind of acted like spells and summons and shit. So you could do shit with different tarot cards. And... Your answers would determine which tarot cards you had access to in the beginning. Also, it would determine which units you get and your alignment. So let's... Let's look into these questions, shall we? <coughs> <coughs> So really feminine. Cough. <coughs> 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 you know it's great. Every time I go up the wrist and CJ and I cough around him, I'm like Jesus Christ, are you dying? I'm like, no, this is this is like normal for me. Like that's <sighs> and or don't know what that is. Passion. Yeah, it'd be good to hold passion within a sword. So you, you know, passionately fucking stab something. Vigor, again, good thing to fucking hold within a sword. You, you you want your fucking sword arm to be vigorous. Talent, again, another fucking thing. Belief. I, I'll give it a fucking pass. I mean, I guess, you know, you hold your beliefs and your convictions within your sword so you can smite the unworthy. I, I don't know. And hatred. I'm going to choose hatred. One, that makes the most sense of everything. Like, why wouldn't you? That's the perfect fucking place for hatred is in a sword. A sword fucking kills things. And you kill things you fucking hate. So, like, hatred's the perfect fucking option. Also, hatred's my fucking creed. That's my fucking... Like, anybody who's ever fucking seen any of my fucking videos know this. I just... I... If I hated shit anymore, like, I would... Like, I would... I would pickle. I would turn into, like, a human pickle.
Oh, somebody's ringing and ding ding at me. Not at this, by the way. Oh, get good fucking timing, Riff. Fuck you, you fucking jerk. Yes, fuck you. Damn it. Fucking piece of shit. D nobody goes up to fucking the Malini dialogue. Fucking. He's a fucking jerk, a traitor, and a fucking vagabond. And I'm pretty fucking sure he eats fucking puppies. Anyways, where was I? Why shall I? I should have fucking known that shit. I should have. I should have known. Oh, somebody's fucking calling me. Who could it fucking be? It's not going to be the fucking person I multiply fucking prank fucking called. No! Good fucking job, Riff. Good job. Fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, man, you got me fucking good. That Now he's fucking, he's ahead of me again and fucking prank calls. Damn it! I got him fucking there for a while, but no, now he's right back in fucking lead. I gotta fucking get him. I gotta get him again, somehow. I gotta fucking think. I mean, I like how this is just fucking devolved into me fucking hating Riff. I can Roman War Helmet him, but he gets up before me anytime I stay up there. Hmm. I could plant child pornography. But he locks his computer when I'm up there. Well, he locks his computer anyways. I'll get you, fucking Rith. I'll get you and your little fucking... Whatever fucking you have that's little and I can describe in that manner. Fuck you! So anyways. What shall I sever with thine sword? Okay, let's see here. Hope. That's fucking stupid. Who the fuck... Who? I'm gonna sever fucking hope with my sword. That's... That's what's gonna fucking happen. I'm gonna sever it right fucking there. Everybody's just gonna be miserable. It's gonna be North Korea. That's that's what happened with North Korea. Kim Jong Il's father went around severing people's fucking hope with a sword. His sword of hatred. Greed. That see that's something you would want to fucking sever with a fucking sword. Is greed. I don't know how you would fucking sever a fucking greed with a fucking sword. That should. This should be the fucking motto of Occupy Wall Street. I will sever, sever fucking greed with my... I'm fucking just... I'm so pissed at Riff. I can't fucking hide it. I'm just... Fuck you, Riff. Fuck you. Fucking asshole. <laughs> fucking ass... Order. Who the... Again, who the fuck wants to sever fucking order? I just want it to be wacky murder rape plan. So I'm gonna just sever fucking order. Just sever it. Fucking sever it. Right fucking there. So, welcome to Wacky Ray Plan, because I'm, I'm an idiot and I severed fucking uh, order with my fucking sword of hatred. Silence. This is, see, this is something. This is kind of abstract, but you could want to sever silence. Say, you saw, say somebody fucking saw something and they weren't fucking talking. You could go up with your sword of fucking hatred and be like, fucking say something! Or I will fucking sever you with my sword of silence. And then they will be like, okay, man, I'll fuck, I'll talk. I'll fucking talk. You would have severed their fucking silence with your sword. So th there you fucking go. Anarchy, that fucking makes sense too. Anarchy, who did... Only fucking, only fucking retards want fucking pure anarchy. So like, so yeah, that's something you would want to fucking sever. And control, that's... That's kind of fucking redundant, because basically control and order can mean the same thing, I guess. But also, it's kind of vague. Like, what control? Like, what? Like, the fucking, the, the people who control, do the controlling? Like, them? I, right, fuck it. I'm just, I'm going to pick anarchy because it makes the most sense. What shall I beseech the gods? Let's see, valor, purity. See, these make sense so far. Valor, you know. They're gonna beseech something from the gods. Valor's pretty good. Purity, 
The gods are pretty pure. They're like fucking pure. Like, look at the fucking, look at that one dude. He was like pure. Pureness. Purity. Purity, dudes. Come on. Seriously. Gods are fucking pure. We all know this. Mike. See, that's a good fucking thing. That makes fucking sense. Because, you know, look at fucking somebody like Zeus or Hercules or Thor. I'm fucking sorry, I went there again. My bad. Might. Triumph. Like, if you're gonna fucking ask the gods for fucking anything, it's like, hey, can I be triumphant here, please? Sacri sacrifice is kind of weird, but that makes sense. It's kind of like silence. You gotta do some mental gymnastics. It's, you know, sacrifice. That could be like, I asked, you know, the gods for, you know, for me to be able to sacrifice when the time calls for it. Although, that would be more like... That would be something else, really, probably. But, like, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll give them fucking sacrifice. You know, it's not like... I beseech the gods for fucking fire rain. That's, like, what I'm beseeching the fucking gods for. I want to sever fucking hope and beseech the gods for fucking fire rain. So, like, it's not something, like, stupid like that. And trust... Like, eh. It's kind of lame. I'm gonna go might. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be fucking fighting people here soon, so like might. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want fucking to be might. I'm gonna need some might. What shall I offer the gods? So let's see. Love. Alright, okay, yeah. I mean, they're gods, so they probably can't experience, you know, proper human emotions. So like, I could see why you, you'd be like, look, I'll give you some of my love, you know, for something. Truth. Again, like, if you ever read a holy book, like, the gods have a real fucking hard time handling the concept of fucking truth, so... Yeah, like, I'd see that. Freedom. Freedom for fucking what? They're gods. Like, what? Freedom to not be a fucking god? That, that's dumb. And that's fucking even dumber. Embrace? And fucking brace? What, the gods can't fucking hug? That's stupid. Lust. That I could get. Gods don't have fucking dicks. Like, seriously, do you think fucking Mary had a good fucking time conceiving Jesus? Fuck no. God turned into some fucking light and was like, hey, bitch, you're fucking knocked up. Have fun with that shit for nine months. Like, she didn't even get, she didn't get any of the fucking good shit out of, uh, out of fucking conceiving a kid. She didn't get an orgasm or fucking anything. She got, she just got fucking light knocked up. That sucks. Glory. I can get that. Like, be like, hey, gods, I'm going to do some great shit and I'm going to be do it in your fucking names. I'm starting to get in, I'm starting to fucking think these fucking questions are meaningless and have no fucking, you know, the anything. I can't fucking say words. Let me s I have a hypotenuse. Let's see if marijuana helps me say words better. Validity. And I just noticed that after I took that hit, I misused Hypothesis. Well, I can't fucking say hypothesis. Hypothesis. Words are fucking weird when you're high, man. I'm just fucking telling you that right now. I I'm gonna guess I I I'm gonna give it to God's lust. I don't know. None of this shit makes any fucking sense. I'm just gonna fucking pick shit. Fuck it. What dost thou wish for? Strife! Mother! That's the fucking dumbest motherfucking answer ever! Who the fuck wishes for fucking strife? Nobody! Not even a motherfucking villain! You think fucking Doctor Doom is out there like, I want fucking strife! You think fucking Magneto's out there wanting fucking strife? No! You know, they want their fucking enemies dead and fucking beaten, but they want, like, fucking... A new world in their own fuck. Nobody wants fucking strife. Why is that even an option? 
Like the rest of these make fucking sense. Serenity, wealth, reform, fertility, and peace. Those are fucking things we want. We everybody should wish for, especially serenity, because I'm picking that. Because everybody should wish for more fucking Firefly. Right, right, fucking there. That's fucking proof. That's like that's more proof than I fucking need to be an atheist. It's like Firefly got one fucking season, and they aired it out of fucking order. Yep. Now I'm fucking mad at that shit. Fuck you, Fox. Whoosh. What? I'm not even doing the fucking voice anymore. Rush out that rid from the fucking land. Changes law. And this is like the fucking inverse. Like seriously, change it. Why would you rid changes from the land? So what? You want your land to become fucking stagnant and fucking archaic? So yeah, that's a good fucking choice. No. Law. Like, that goes back to my fucking order fucking shit from, from earlier. So, like, yeah, if you want rape, if you want rapey murder land, there's your fucking choice. Ideal? Who the, what? Honor? Like, I can kind of get honor because honor fucks, you know, people do shitty fucking things because of bullshit fucking honor. You know, honor killings, you know, kamikaze, shit like fucking that. Like, on the whole, like, uh, if you were like, look, is honor a, a virtuous quality? I would probably be like, you know what, yeah, it's probably as good to have honor. Rule? Like, that... That's fucking dumb, too, because that's fucking... What's fucking law, then? Rule? Like, did, who, did whoever fucking make this shit just look in a fucking English... In an English thesaurus? It was just like... Pick five fucking words. Because, like, I'm noticing a lot of these fucking words are like synonyms of one another. Like, chaos and anarchy. And strife could even be fucking thrown in there. Order. Law. Rule. Changes could even be thrown into fucking, into the chaos. Seriously, did whoever fucking make this fucking list of questions just write a motherfucking... Like, just look at a fucking thesaurus. Is that what they did? Seriously? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick chaos, because that's the one that makes best sense. I don't know why I'm yelling. Lastly, whose help do you, dost thou call for? Swift wind, raging flame, solid earth, serene water. Well, since I'm not gonna be running away like a fucking pansy, I'm not gonna call for fucking wind. And serene. Like, really? I'm going to defeat you, my enemies, with serenity! Unless, like, you know, unless it actually is serenity, then, you know, you know everybody's a fucking job. Like, anybody, if you're in a fucking fight to the death, just be like, yo, you want to watch serenity? It'll stop. Solid Earth, that can fucking, that can help. You know, being solid in a fight, taking a hit, makes sense. But I'm gonna go Rage and Flame, because fire, like fire, burns things. Also, you notice how the fucking, like, like the characters, like the actual 2D sprites, are made up in kind of like an anime-ish style, they're kind of cartoony-ish. Yet the fucking character portraits are realistic, for the most part. Which is really fucking jarring when you get, like, the blue-haired fucking dude. Like, what? Where, where, is the, where the fuck does that come from? What? What? How? Why? Like, is that magic? Is, like, that just a byproduct of fucking magic blue hair? Also, wouldn't this be fucking cool if, like, when you graduated, you got a fucking axe, a whip, like a couple of whips and a fucking staff? Like seriously. What did you get when you fucking graduated? A fucking dress and a stupid hat. And a fucking worthless piece of paper. Like yeah, I'd rather have a fucking axe, a couple of whips and a fucking staff. And some armor. I could do without the dress. Helmet would be cool. Pointy hat. Fuck yeah I want a pointy fucking hat. And a, and a spell book? Seriously. I totally fucking trade in that shit fucking dress and that stupid hat and that fucking worthless piece of paper for a fucking spell book. 
That's like, that's, remember when I was talking about uh, the cards earlier, the, the tarot cards in the original? This is kind of their version of that. Like, you, you can use that flame shit every so often. It's like a rechargeable attack. Just so you know, there are four Ogre Battle games, too. So when you see Ogre Battle number seven, yeah, out of four fucking games. Just like soaking how beautiful and great the fucking music is, the graphics. Like, really? Why couldn't more fucking N64 games do this? Why? Why? Let's just, let's go with fucking polygons because, yeah, that's going to look really fucking good. And, yeah, I know, they're like, oh, we got we to gotta push the limit so we can get to fucking where we are now. But it's like, there's a lot of fucking games that were 3D that you're, that are like, look, this fucking did not need to be in 3D. You know what those are? Every fucking Final Fantasy game ever. Zing! Oh, not ever. Not the 3D one. Oh, I mean, not the actual real 2D ones. I'm not joking. I would love Final Fantasy VII so much. Prologue. Casting their gaze on the ground. Charge them off. Yeah. Anyways, I'd love Final Fantasy VII so much more if it was 2D. Just, like, seriously fucking square. Why won't you fucking remake it? I'm not even a huge fucking fan of Final Fantasy fucking 7. I would buy it up. Because I don't want to I don't want to fucking play Final Fantasy today. I'm not even a graphics person, but it's so fucking ugly. Like, old polygon fucking games are just like... They look like fucking shit. And puke. Like, mixed together. Shit puke. Okay, I'm not going to read all this shit. I'm just going to make up my own story. So, um... Blah, 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 I'm General fucking Porn Stash, I'm your commander, so let me walk down here, say some shit. Let me look at you guys. Really fucking blue hair? What the fuck? Anyway, so, um, you guys, I'm your fucking something. I don't know, I'm fucking high, dudes. I smoked a huge bowl... You know what, that's your first fucking mission. You guys gotta go find my fucking dealer. His name's Rufus. He fucking jipped me. Seriously. Like, look at, look at, look at these clothes. Like, I'm, I'm starting to fucking get sober that, like, I'm like, I know what I'm wearing. And, I, and it embarrasses me. So seriously. Go find my dealer. Get more drugs. I'm gonna go sit down now. So yeah, I'm his bitch, his metal gimp, so I'm just gonna fucking look and pour in and read out some fucking names here that don't fucking matter because, you know, you never see fucking half these fucking people ever again, you know, so fuck them. Blah, blah, blah. Gonna put the paper away and now I'm gonna fucking just say some more sh bullshit. Why are you still fucking standing here? As long as you stand here, I'm gonna say shit. Thank you for fucking leaving. It's like, come in. Cause I'm gonna be coming in. <laughs> so anyways, I'm fucking shit grills. Fuck you, dude. Like, fuck you, dude. Let me, let me fucking look at you, you piece of fucking shit. It's like, hmm, hmm, yeah, I like what I see. You know what, I'm fucking Hugo, and yeah, I'm gonna, I, I don't know. Oh, just fucking, I want to get to killing shit.
blah blah blah. They're just going to fucking train. Like seriously. I don't need to fucking read a book to know they're going to fucking train. And that there might be fucking bandits and fucking shit. It's be like we're going to fucking train. Oh shit. Maybe then we get to the fucking story that actually fucking matters. I'm going back to making up my own stories. Shit, motherfucker, why are you wearing a dress? And then they just stood there in awkward silence for eight hours. It's okay, you got your little cruiser thingy and you can check shit out. Got save. Should save over that. Just in case something fucks up. So you got your, your, each like, you got units, which are, well, I forget what they're called. Well, you got units and they're made up of individual fucking soldiers. So you got like one unit here with like some, a beast master who does shit with beast, who... Oddly enough, it's not fucking paired up with any beast because that makes fucking sense. Oh yeah, I really want a fucking beast master without any fucking beast. That, yes. But you got some fighters. Then I got, what is that, a witch? What is that, I can't see. Oh yeah, yeah, a witch. The witches do status magic. Sorceresses and wizards do attack magic in this game. And then you got your group here. So let's see. And you got soldiers. Those are basically like... Those are how you get more fighters and, and Amazons. Because in, this, because in this game series, the Ogre Battle series, uh, females and males have their own unique classes. And the basic female class is Amazon, and the basic male class is Fighter. So, you know, that's how you get more Fighters, is you have to level up those guys. And depending on which, you know, which, who's the leader of which unit, so, you know, you got a, a fucking Beast Tamer here, a male, those Fighters are going to become male. And in this group, the one with the Witch, these Fighters are going to become female. That's a shitty fucking group, though. Like, seriously. Oh, I'm so high, I forgot what the fucking buttons do. For some reason, whenever you go somewhere, water... Like, that's a real fucking motif with this game. Notice, like, the watery fucking... And yet, we're not going to fight... In the water. This battle has really nothing specifically to do with water. Ah, uh, uh, blah, blah, fucking bloody fucking blah, blah! Oh, this part pisses me off. Fucking rat tail here. Seriously, look at that motherfucker. Seriously, when this fucking game came out, the rat tail was already five fucking years past its prime. And this fucking motherfucker's like, Kami Dio! Fucking, fuck this piece of shit. Seriously, fuck him. The real fucking Dio, who art thou in rock and roll heaven right fucking now. Riding a demon horse, fucking two barbarian chicks, while farting out rainbows and tits. This fucker is not his motherfucking namesake. Fuck him. This one point deducted from this fucking game for the ability not to be able to name this fucking asshole rat-tailed fucking ponce. Fuck him. Dio. Fuck. More like fucking Ozzy. And now the metalheads are going to be like, Fuck you. sometimes at the fucking noises I can fucking make. Just like that, the fucking 
Fucking screech. Fuck you. What are you going to fucking do? Don't call me fucking this or I'm going to what? Fucking bitch and moan like you always do throughout this fucking game. Anyways, we're going... So this is like the briefing part where you get briefed. So like, say, see, so just to simplify it for you, uh, my guys are the blue dots. That's like the blue square is, is our base and the fucking blue circles are towns. And the red shit's the enemy, and green shit doesn't fucking care. They're indifferent. Come on! Come on! I want to mother... It's been motherfucking 36 minutes! I have not motherfucking played for a single fucking second! The most I've done is answer stupid and name fucking questions! Oh my god, really? The fucking straightest point to a fucking a destination is a straight path? Fuck! Did not know that. Sorry, I'm just like, it's 36 fucking minutes. I've been babbling angrily for 36 fucking minutes at a video game, and I have yet to fucking kill something. Okay. Fucking end briefing. What? Holy shit, really? The briefing process will end when I click end fucking briefing? I did not fucking know that. Holy shit. Oh, fuck it. I'm, that's blow my fucking mind. Okay, we briefed. Can I fucking kill something? Can I solve a fucking puzzle? Can I fucking draw? Can I fucking do motherfucking anything? I love this game. I really fucking do. But like that's the really bad problem with the Ogre Battle games. Is they have the fucking pacing of a, of a glacier made out of slugs and molasses. Again, I love this game. More fucking, more bullshit fucking nothing. Although this kind of fucking affects later on if you keep Dio as a fucking person or not. I think he gets killed if you choose one answer over the other. You know what Dio fucking, you know what this piece of shit fucking rat-tailed ponce reminds me of? Link Cars, if anybody has ever watched Link Car on That Guy with the Glasses... His fucking Superboy Prime voice. Like, seriously. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Fight me! No, fuck you. I'm not fighting you. Seriously. What are you saying? You're so superior that you can't do the Fuck you. I'm not even fucking doing a voice. I just want to motherfucking kill something. Wanna fucking get the fucking actual shit that matters. Ugh, I should have kept making up my own story. I should have. Oh my god, I get the fucking play now? Really? Holy shit. Holy shit, I get the fucking play now. Nothing is gonna fucking stop me. <laughs> 